All right, so this, this logarithm here, I'm going to expand this logarithm. Now, Emily, they, they gave us the domain on this one here. They say x has to be greater than 2. So they just kind of are making being, being, being very specific about this. So if I'm going to expand this here, the first thing I'm going to do, because I want to kind of work from the outside in, is I, I'm going to, i got to get rid of this power thing. So I'm going to use the third property to get rid of that. And I'm going to go ln, I'm not, I'm not going to go ln. I'm going to go one third. I don't know why that happened. One third ln x squared minus x minus 2 over x plus 4 squared. Okay, so I've turned my exponent into a power. All right, got to expand some more. So um, I have a, a quotient right here, right? So that looks like the second property there. I want to expand it using the second property. So I'm going to have one third times, well, I'm going to have ln x squared minus x minus 2 minus ln x plus 4 squared. Are you okay with that step? Follow me along? Okay. I'm getting close to the end here, I think. So I'm going to have one third ln x squared minus x minus 2 minus 2. I want to get rid I need to expand it all the way. And I got a, a, a power there. So 2 ln x plus 4. And that's as far as I can take this. I don't think there's anything else I can do. I, I don't think that this is uh, factorable. Is it? I don't know. Is that factorable? Can I factor that? Is it is it x minus two, x plus one? Is that is it? Oh, it is, isn't it? Okay. Well, then I think we need to do that. If we're expanding this thing as much as we can expand it, then I'd have one third ln, um, what was it, x minus 2, x plus 1, minus 2 ln x plus 4. And so now, if I'm, again, if I'm expanding it as much as I can expand it, I have to use the top property to expand this piece here. So I have one third ln x minus two plus ln x plus one minus two ln x plus four. Let's 